So, I'm on top of the house. We are almost done. The roof. And we've got um, all the side walls up and the ridge pole. And a lot of these things that you see, these boards are temporary. Like this one here. They're just braces. Just, and also for climbing, because people got to go up here. Because uh, there's usually a guy sitting up there. Anyway, and so we put the last three posts, all the floor joists, braced it all, and then put, uh, well, six rafters up, as well as the ridge pole and the side walls. Um, so we did, yesterday we did like an unreal amount of work. And so this is the view from the house. Now I'm standing in what will be the, this will be like the library room. And over here will be the child's activity room. Like in other words, where they can play their games. Since it's a rainy day outside or something. And then right here, will be the boys room and all these sections are each 10 by 10 so all the boys will be in a 10 by 10 space there should be lots of room in fact I might even make it 8 by 10 because if I put a two foot closet on the outside all the way along two by 10 closet against the sidewall then they, you don't have to worry because the sidewall is only five feet so a bunk bed won't actually go there, but if I <clears throat> pulled the wall out two feet more, then there's enough room for a bunk bed um, to sit against the wall. And then Kiara, this will be her room. Now she she might end up with Fraser, um, just to be fair to the boys. But then and then she might end up with Ezekiel. So underneath me here, uh, we haven't put any of the bottom floor joists on yet. The idea was we were just hurrying to get the roof on because the rains are coming. And in fact, it's rained twice, but the roads are still pretty good. It's just rained overnight, just enough to cool everything down. So <clears throat> this room right here is going to be the master bedroom. Again, it'll be 10 by 10. And then this room over here will be the spare bedroom and um, I forget what we decided but I think it's gonna be around eight, uh, uh, 10 by 10 as well and then this room here is like the entryway and it's all open with um, you notice the floor joists end here so this is going to be the vault and underneath like, so basically this will be a straight up shot to the roof. So there'll be stairs somewhere along here. I think we decided back here, or maybe it was here. I don't know, but there's stairs going down to the bottom floor. And then <clears throat> the kitchen is in that corner. And then this will be the dining room. And here will be the back entryway and the bathroom and that's supposed to be the well but it may end up something else you know the well digger like disappeared on me and that's my property that's my wife i'm filming you That's my neighbor's property. That actually might be where we get our water from because there's a spring up there and I might just um, just cut a ditch and put a pipe in it and bring it down here. That's what everybody else does. So Apparently there's rules on this agricultural subdivision that if someone has a spring, you can't really withhold it from other people. So uh, my neighbor wouldn't withhold it anyway. He's a nice guy. Yeah, so I think I said this is the entry with and so the kitchen's gonna have a vault and so will the living room and then in future years we'll have a 
big covered back patio. And then we'll probably have a big covered front patio, which partly will be screened in kitchen area. And the reason why you would do that is because then you could put a wood burning stove out there and not heat up the house. And you would, uh, like if it's raining, mom would put out the, the laundry she washes, she would just put it above the wood stove to dry. Because nothing dries here in the rainy season. Speaking of drying, I'm going to hang up my hammock up here to dry.